Good morning, St. Thomas More. I got one quick announcement before we get to some accolades. I just want to remind students about Plaza behavior, and I'm just going to make this quick. But as you know, if you wear the St. Thomas More uniform, you're representing us whether you're in the school, outside the school, or at the plaza. So please be responsible in your behavior because anything that happens at the plaza tends to be a bigger deal than even if it happens in school because it deals not only with school level consequences but also with legal consequences. And that's just a reminder to please represent us well when you're out in the community. Now a couple, three good news items. So I'm going to start with the spring concert last night. It was fantastic celebration. I got to give absolute kudos to Mrs. Tavares, Mrs. Couture for making it happen, along with a lot of behind the scenes support and many hours from Mr. Marlin and Mr. Young. And by the way, students, if any of you are interested in what happens behind the scenes at events like this, soundboards, wires, all that kind of stuff, these things, these are skills that will help you, uh, honestly, in your, in your life, taking things for your, your own children, but also if you ever want to pursue a career in ComTech, please think about joining the stage crew next year. We're going to have a lot more events like that next year, and the more help, the better. I also want to thank the custodians for setting it up. But finally, I really want to uh, give kudos to the students who performed. It takes guts to perform uh, in grade 9 and 10 in front of a crowd like that. Uh, some of you did so solo or in small groups, and uh, that courage to perform is going to serve you well in your future. But I just want to say as the principal how impressed I was. I have uh, no musical ability, and I couldn't possibly have done what you guys did, but it was so impressive. There was a full concert band where 95% of the people had just picked up an instrument for the first time in the last year or two. So congratulations, students, and thank you for showing off your talents. Uh, I do want to throw out another couple of uh, congratulations, first of all, uh, to Aslan Naeem. And if you don't know Aslan, you're missing out. Aslan Naeem won the Schulich Scholarship at the University of Toronto. That is an $80,000 scholarship. There's thousands of applicants and very few winners. There's 10 at each of these major universities. So to make the top 10 at a university as large as the University of Toronto, is an extremely high achievement. Congratulations, Aslan, and if you know him, you know that he is deserving of it. And to win a scholarship like this, it's not just a matter of getting very high marks in school, it's about being a good person. And Aslan fits the, fits the bill. So congratulations, Aslan, you made St. Thomas More very proud for winning that scholarship. And along the same vein, Mita Ahmed last week accepted the TD scholarship. That's a $40,000 scholarship. Both of these students were instrumental in creating uh, the United Against Racism group um, and also are great students and great people around the school. So congratulations to those two students. A lot of times uh, we get on these announcements and we celebrate the athletes as we should, but there are so many outstanding students with diverse talents, including musical and academics and just being good people. So congratulations to all of that. And I hope all of you take that, all these successes as something to strive for in the future. And with that in mind, the big event today is gonna to be the, uh, the congratulations to Anthony Morelli. Okay. Anthony has been awarded the Jim Hansen Spirit of Community Award, okay. which is instituted to honor a giant in Catholic education, former superintendent, friend of my father's, Mr. Jim Hansen. Mr. Hansen was a champion for inclusive education and really made uh, special education what it is today in the HWCDSB. And I want to say, Anthony, was, he was selected to receive the award for his positive attitude, his strong work ethic at all his work placements, including the Dutch Mill. He's a role model. For, for our student community, for our student body and community. So with that, I'm gonna invite him to the podium. Yep. Congratulations, Anthony, come and accept your award. That's right. Hold it up for the crowd. Okay. What a great day. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, we'll pass it on to the next person on announcements. Good morning, STM. My name is Delina. And I'm Alessandra, and here are your announcements for today. This message is for students with an IEP. Please check your email for important final exam information. Today is the last day to submit your form. If you have any questions, please come by room 217 to speak with a CERT. 
This is a reminder that there will be a brief more neuroscience meeting after school today in room 333. See you there. The track and field team picture will be taken immediately after school on Monday. Everyone is to meet on the track at 2.40. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.21. Have a great day.